Hello my people and welcome to my YouTube channel. Misha here and I am the author of the debut novel Play Another Love Song which is available on Kindle Unlimited, of course Kindle and paperback. So it's been a year since I posted my first author to related video about some tips that I'm taking into my first ever NaNoWriMo. Now that I have one NaNoWriMo under my belt and that project ended up becoming Play Another Love Song, I thought that I would kind of do a 2022 version of that video and give you my top three tips that I am taking into NaNoWriMo this year. Twas the night before NaNoWriMo. If you want to know what my tips are, Keep on watching. All right, so my first tip is do not disturb, period. <laughs> I'm doing whatever you can to make sure all technology do not disturb your writing process. Um, whether that is you're putting your actual phone on do not disturb. Well, I have a Galaxy. So I just put my phone on airplane mode. It does the same. Of course, I always message my family or whoever that I think might contact me during that time. Um, that, hey, I'm about to start writing and I won't respond until after I finish. Also, a way that you can put your technology on do not disturb so it does not disturb your writing process is this feature on, if you have a MacBook, there's a feature called Time Out where you can literally go in and um, set a time where you're not able to access any of your MacBook apps like Chrome or anything that you think might disturb you. And you can allow certain ones to open. So like for instance, I would time out between five and nine. And the only apps I would allow during that time is my Scrivener and Spotify. So I can listen to music and then also so I can write in Scrivener so that when I try to click on Chrome, you know, sometimes I like to browse on social media and stuff like that on my computer. Or if like I want to look up something and it'll take the whole hour <laughs> instead of like the quick five minutes you thought it would take. Um, that is a good feature to kind of put your all your technology on do not disturb. Yeah, so my first tip is to make sure that your technology does not disturb you you are free to just write and focus on just that. My second tip um, that I'm taking with me into this NaNoWriMo that was very instrumental in my success for last NaNoWriMo is timers. Um, I have a full-time job. I am a teacher, which usually goes over, of course, if you know anything about the teacher profession, you go well over the hours that you are at school. So, Time is valuable and I don't even want to think about, you know, those teachers who if you're a teacher and you have like children or you have, you know, you have a family, people to take care of. Um, timers are really going to come into handy. Um, there's two things that I kind of try out and bounce back and forth in between depending on how I am feeling. Um, one of those things is a productivity cube and I have one here. I will link it on my down below, but basically it has two modes. One of the modes shows the time and then the other mode, you can switch it to the timer and literally you will set your cube down and then it will start the timer. So right now it's on five minutes. It's on 60 minutes. You can't see because of the glare, but this is a cool way, especially when you are putting your phone on airplane mode or do not disturb and you want to make sure you don't use your phone at all that you use this productivity cube and you don't have to use your phone for timers also i like to use the pomodoro technique i talk about it a lot and i've talked about it mainly in two videos which were the two videos that i challenged myself to do ten thousand words in a day or over two days and I talk about that technique so much 
basically it's a method that people use to be productive whether that is studying writing or what have you or even cleaning the house you can use this method but it's basically a method of 25 minutes on five minutes you are taking a break and you repeat that process four times and after that fourth pomodoro which is what they're called the 25 minute sets then you take a longer 15 minute break and if you need to repeat the process all over again i'll link my favorite pomodoro timers um that i use or have used over and over and over and over again i'm pretty sure like a couple thousand of the views are from me alone um, but I will link down those videos um, that I use um, to follow the Pomodoro technique down in the description box below along with that productivity timer. And the last tip that I want to share is accountability. Find some sort of accountability to make sure you are meeting your words goal. So we all know that the chat, the task or the challenge is to write 50,000 words in one month. And of course, it's easy for something like writing, which is a solitary act to feel like you're all in and along, but you can also have accountability. So joining Facebook groups, also people actually join in on the NaNoWriMo website and track their words that way. Me personally, of course, I tell my family, uh, my mom and my two sisters about what's going on. Um, and then also I post on my social media because it's a nice way to also market <laughs> before you even publish this piece of work. It's a good way to market what you are doing, what you are working on. Um, I like to do on my Instagram, um, on my story, it's this template that I use where I circle the date and then I put how many, how many words I wrote that day, which is cool. And then I also like to make a weekly post on how many words I have done so far. So accountability is my third and biggest tip I would say. So that's it. Just a nice, short, simple video to hurry up and get your mind settled before NaNoWriMo starts tomorrow, November 1st. I hope everybody is prepared, ready, excited. You get enough sleep and you get all the words that you want to get in. Of course, to follow along with me on this year's NaNoWriMo and whatever I am doing, then go ahead and follow me over on Instagram at Misha's underscore lullaby, where I'm going to already have posted a template that if you DM me, I can send you the template as well um, that I'm going to use to post to my stories and track my daily word count. And also stay tuned because tomorrow, November the 1st, I'm also going to be sharing a project that I am releasing very, very soon. I'm releasing a short story, which is part of the Another Love series. So it's like Another Love series book 1.5 because it's like a novella. And I'm going to be sharing the cover, the title, and the date, and the pre-order link. <laughs> so you definitely don't want to miss that. So follow me over on Instagram right now. Like, now and even if it's after november 1st you can catch up i'll have highlights and everything <laughs> also um become a member on my website mishagladney.com uh, on my website i also share monthly newsletters on what i'm doing and once you become a member you get access to past newsletters as well as book exclusives so like chapters pinterest boards playlists all that good stuff um so that's another way that you can stay connected with me and lastly make sure you stay connected with me here on youtube go ahead and give me a thumbs up subscribe you know comment down below if you are participating in NaNoWriMo or if even if you're not um, if you want to just cheer me on or just cheer on fellow authors because we're all posting videos and documenting our journey. So your support means 
everything. So yes, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and you can turn those notifications on to see whenever I post. That's it for today's video, and I will see you all and talk to you all later. Bye. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm slightly going crazy.